When you open Edius for the first time, you most likely will have a default profile. This profile has certain settings for the effects palette. The effects palette will be shown as you can see it now. Let's look at the video filters. Here you have a folder called color correction and then you see a list of filters. Some of them have a red letter S. These are the system presets. I find this list a bit messy. The great thing is that you can reorganize the palette. Let's start by creating a new profile. The reason I'm going to do this is that if you do the reorganization in the first profile, all new profiles after that will have this setup. This can be a good thing. But if you are working with different editors, it could be that everyone likes his effects palette different. Create a new profile. Go to Settings, System Settings, Application, Profile, Create a new profile and give it a name. Click OK. Go to Settings, Change Profile and select the new profile you have just created. After you have switched to the new profile, go to Settings, System Settings, Application, Profile and rename the first profile to Base. The reason for having a base profile is that sometimes Edius needs a refresh of the effects palette after you have installed new plugins. If you do the refresh in a customized profile, you can lose all your customizations. When a new plugin does not show after installation, switch to the base profile. You do this by going to Settings, Change Profile. After you have done this, Go to the effects palette. Right click and choose return to default. This will do a read refresh, but you will also return the effects palette to default. Your new plugin will now be visible in the effects palette. After you have done this, switch back to your custom profile. Let's go back to the effects palette. Click the padlock icon to unlock it. Put the effects palette in effects view by clicking this icon. Select video filters. Right click. Select create new folder. Name that folder Adias Native. Click on video filters. Shift select all filters and drag them into the Adias Native folder. Exit effects view. After you have switched to the new profile, go to settings, system settings, application, profile, and rename the first profile to base. Put the effects palette back into effects view and control click select all filters with a red letter S. Drag them in the system preset folder. Exit effects view. When you click color correction, you now have the base filters and the folder called system preset, which contains the presets. We will do the same for the Adias Native folder. Click it, select Create New Folder, rename this folder to System Presets. Put the Effects Palette in Effects View. Control select all System Presets and drag them into the System Preset folder. Exit Effects View. Click the top folder Effects. Create two new folders. Rename one to your name Video Presets. 
and the other one to your name audio presets. It is very good to keep things organized in folders. Let me demonstrate how you save a preset. I will use two filters on a clip. Mono and a three-way color corrector. Go to the FX palette, select your video presets folder. Go back to the information palette, select the filters, right click and select save as user preset. The preset will go into the folder and it will be ready to be renamed. Every user preset will get the letter U. There could be times that you forget to select the folder first in the FX palette when you are editing. No worries, you can reorganize at any time. It doesn't matter where a preset is saved in the FX palette. Unlock the FX palette, select the filter and drag it into the appropriate folder. You can do the same with audio filters. Remember to back up your presets on a regular basis. Select the folder, right click and select export. Keep your FX palette organized and happy editing.